I'm Rick Van Hoos. A veteran officer from Central Kentucky is fighting for his life tonight. Richmond Police Officer Daniel Ellis was shot this morning while investigating an attempted robbery. The accused gunman and second man are in custody tonight. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan was at the scene and has more on what police and neighbors say happened. Kentucky State Troopers have been at the apartment behind me for hours, working to determine what led to the shooting of a Richmond police officer. There really aren't any words to try to uh, put on, uh, you know, what it's like uh, to have a fellow colleague and, and somebody that you know and work with in a small community uh, suffering these kind of injuries. State police say two Richmond police officers came to this apartment mid-morning Wednesday, following up on an attempted robbery from earlier in the day. Fifteen minutes after arriving, one of the officers was shot. That's when we heard the shots and we went out. I come around and they were dragging the officer out. Officer shot the suspect. Some people nearby heard the gunshots. Others just heard the sirens. This is Ballard Drive, and if anybody's in Richmond, they know what Ballard Drive is. You hear crazy stuff all the time. Robberies, shootings. It's, it's, I mean, like normal stuff. It's just Richmond's just always on the news. Police from throughout the area rushed to University of Kentucky Medical Center to show their support for the officer who was fighting for his life. There aren't really any words uh, to describe that, that, that pain uh, and, and that, that feeling. For Victoria Mullins, who heard the gunshots and saw the officer, she did the only thing she could think of. I just hit my knees and prayed. That's all I could do. Troopers tell us several people were inside the apartment at the time of the shooting. They are talking with them as part of the investigation. Reporting in Richmond, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. The gunman is identified as Raleigh C Sizemore, who was shot by another officer. He was released from UK Hospital. He's now charged with attempted murder of a police officer and unlawful imprisonment. Gregory Ratcliffe is in jail for complicity to murder of a police officer. Police say he was charged because he lied to officers when he said no one else was inside the apartment. A woman who was also there is in custody.